relax, dog. Just for one stream, dog. Can we really relax? And I don't get violated. If it's not va if it's not Vaseline, okay, dog. If it's not I wait. What else, chat? What else do you want from me, bro? What else, bro? Stop, bro. Stop being toxic for no reason. It's not funny anymore, dog. Stop it, bro. You see, we have 19 minutes until homework. Relax. Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What the fuck? There's a problem with YouTube, specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Kenshin, Verlizzi, AMP, RDC, and many others. And then you got this other side with these creators that don't care about their content at all. All they care about is the money that comes with YouTube. And all their videos are just based around sexual right. things. One side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make. And the other side is like that $2 McDonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes but the next day you feel like absolute it's kind of like yin and yang you know and in today's video i'm going to be talking about that other side of black youtube the terrible side now when it comes to the black community and content creation i feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea you know there always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it you can't just do a normal truth or dare it has to be a freaky truth or dare you can't just go on a blind date it has to be a freaky blind date the other day i literally seen a video titled i put my freaky ass parents on a blind date what we are getting to the yo bro nah, that's crazy. literally seen a video titled bro, i put my freaky though, ass bro. parents on a blind date we are getting to the it's point in con taking. yo chat <laughs> just for one stream dog let's not violate anyone dog let's relax bro stop bro stop bro content creation where we're putting our parents on blind dates and it has to be freaky that is absolutely weird if i'm being honest with you another trend that's pretty big in the black community are 20 v ones these videos hit the black community harder than crack in the 80s i can't tell you how many black Ooh, content boy. creators i've seen and, milking and the absolute was, light boy, boy i won't lie boy you can find us so not be the 20 v1 dog it hit us hard, this one, boy. Out of 20v1s. Now, if you don't know what a 20v1 is, well, it's basically like a speed dating show. Where <laughs> Someone said, bro's the thinker. Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys are weird. <laughs> bro's the thinker. 20 Yo, people bro. speed Come date on, one bro. person. And by the end of the show, that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people. I'm pretty sure this video idea was like created by Jubilee, popularized by the Sidemen, and then the black community just took it by storm. Now don't get me wrong, there are some genuinely funny 20v1s out there, but then you got channels out here who are posting 20v1s every single week. <laughs> For example, <laughs> No Love topic. Mar. Now if you don't know who No Love Mar is, well he's a pretty big black YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers, but when you take a look at this man's channel, basically all of his videos are 20v1s. You see, that's I what wouldn't I'm be saying, surprised if like this man look look at this guy's channel, look at this guys. man's channel basically this his name is said no the channel's name is no love but there's nothing about him here everything is about someone else dog that's why i don't have about black content creators dog. everyone like no one bro if you look at some, some sort of south as most of south african content creators dog there's a few i can mention dog people that are real chief matt i feel like his content is nah i'm not glazing relax but dog most south african content creators dog all of their channels is based on what they are doing with other people or like it's it's you never like i feel like you're never there for them dog you just always 20 v1 and it's bro all of his videos are 20 v1s i wouldn't be surprised if this man changed his name to cupid the way he's helping out everyone find love saying, i wouldn't be surprised if this man did a 20 v1 like, with the whole entire no, united no, states no, for his next video honestly at this point this man should put me in a 20 v1 to help me find some action like come on and what's crazy is that this man is so obsessed with 20 v1s that he literally jumped another youtuber because they made a 20 v1 with krishan rock and he wanted to do that idea first i mean there's literally yeah, entire to videos me, of to him. Me, to me circle. boy i don't know why that guy it isn't uploading dog that guy i feel like that guy had the best content in south africa dog i don't think anyone would have topped him i don't know why he stopped uploading bro 
Bro. Him and his crew just pulling up to their studio, them beating up the other guys, and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to YouTube. Number one, what happened to Shame? Who genuinely wants to speed date the snaggletooth demon Krishan Rock? That woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, why are you out here jumping other YouTubers? Because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you imagine if moist critical got to a topic before me and i fought him because of that isn't that the stupidest thing ever like it just doesn't make sense at all and what's even worse is that before every 20v1 that this man does he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get 750 dollars cash app from clicking the link in the description but you don't it just takes you to one of those sites where they have you fill out all those tedious surveys and you get nothing from them i mean there's literally entire videos on youtube exposing these scams he gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking the link but you as a viewer you get nothing because i mean why would cash app just give you 750 dollars they would be broke if they just decide to do that it just shows how greedy of a youtuber this man is but i'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident you also have this other youtuber right here named real x sean and basically a bunch of his videos are just 20 you guys want to see my headline I mean, it's nothing fine. really else but I'm, this man I'm also he chat. spams that it's link fine. in the description with that 750 dollar cash app that you're never gonna get and then you got another 20v1 youtuber right here named People ryan with the sauce like and he also spams Spams that link in the description with that $750 cash app. And what's also crazy about these 20v1 YouTubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them. The only difference is the people in the 20v1s. The intros are all the same. The editing is all the same. Dog. He's cooking, bro. There's too many people are replicating the same kind of content. And it's like, I wait, boy. Hell, even the freaking personalities of all these YouTubers are all the same. Even the freaking scam in the video. They're all doing the same $750 cash app scam. Even the scam in the video is the exact same. These dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory, bro. Like they're just printed every single freaking week. Every week I see a new up and coming 20v1 YouTuber. What's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 20v1s, which is very sad. For you guys that don't know, there's this rapper named La Tyler and he's 17 years old. And the YouTuber No Love Mar, he made a video with la tyler he made a 20v1 and it's disgusting if i'm being honest with you how you feel about sis on the very night i don't think it's bad like if both of y'all vibing with each other you peep the vibe we grown we grown there's a bunch of grown women in there asking a 17 year old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. What do you mean, is he husband material? That's just odd. And you can't say 17 is close to 18, but at the end of the day, if you sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But what's even crazier is that there's 20 V1s with Lil RT. And for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine year old rapper, but he's not like the main character in these 20 V1s. He's like that little assist character that you have in freaking in Mortal Kombat when you spam L1. Someone's airline. Where can I find that? I think TikTok has it. Bro, I just want to ch- I hope- I hope this one- I'm gonna cut this one out, dog. This stays in chat, bro. Wait, not talk. You see my hairline. This stays in chat. I know this is gonna get me in trouble. See my hairline. This one is gonna get me in trouble. I hope no one clips. Don't clip this, bro. Because you guys are saying- Yo! I know this topic- I'm don't clip this. I was not supposed to see that. I mean, as you can see right here, there's literally a video called I Found Love from the help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine-year-old to help you find love? You also got the YouTuber King Sid, who's also been doing many videos with Lil RT, and he's not doing them in like the right way. He's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally did a video named Lil RT Swipes 20 Guys for His Mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. If I would have cursed in front of my mom, I wouldn't be here making this video today if I'm being real with you but yeah i just find it odd how these the guys literally have videos bro. and stop it bro stop yo bro stop bro stop stop bro your hairlines are similar stop bro no ways bro i'm about to talk to you about is very sensitive but you gotta face the fact that it's for taking I know this topic I'm Yo bro <laughs> Stop bro Stop it 
And the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face-to-face -face smasher passes, which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch. If you don't know what this is, well, it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up. And one by one, they basically go through these lines and say smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of. It's Bro, pretty sad when you really think about it. If I had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube that's pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean, imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass. And like I said Real. earlier, a lot of black YouTube, their content just revolves around just extremely horny content. Public interviews. I mean, you know, the whole gay son or thought daughter thing. Find your match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their matches and stuff. Overall, my problem with black YouTube is that number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just copying being off each other and expecting mm. to become the biggest black youtuber of all time mm. with zero originality which is absolutely Ooh. crazy and number two all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them and then once these kids click on them they're just going to freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the 750 dollars cash app scam just so they can get paid overall black youtube is just down atrocious right now and it's honestly sad, sad to see bro. bro but yeah this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made this far bro, bro, i appreciate it dog it's sad it's sad for, for, for even even in south africa dog you get a lot of people just like bro there's no originality we copy from other people like overseas and stuff and it's like ish that's tough boy how many we have eight minutes left uh thingy i don't think i'm supposed to say that word the p word p-o-r-n is ruining our kids for sure boy i know it's, it's ruining a lot of you guys when i'm done with this stream i know where you guys are going after this it's cool though it's vibe it's vibes i get it